Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chikage Windler. The one thing everyone's talking about now, the strong cold front that is on the way to central Texas. You just have to be patient. It won't get here tomorrow. It will get here on Friday and by the weekend, the coolest temperature since July will be right here. Here's tonight's Chicks Chat. But before that cool air gets here, we set a record today at ABIA tying the 100 degree temperature. First set back in 2000. Camp Mabry hit 99, no record there, but two degrees away from the record of 101. The temperatures, big contrast. Easy to see where that cold front is. It's 90 in Dallas after a triple digit day, 65 in Amarillo. Look up North Billings, 37 degrees. Potential for some snow up in the Northern Rockies. Your Thursday planner here at home, not a great chance of rain until late days. 79 degrees your temperature in the morning, 91 at noon, 98 by 4 o'clock will not be a record. The record's 104. And 9 o'clock we keep in a 20% chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Let me track this for you hour by hour here on Future Track. Overnight tonight, clouding up. By morning, we're muggy, close to 80 degrees. Midday, breaking out into sunshine near 90 degrees. Watch the cloud line up to our north, literally just out of our reach. We'll see some showers and thunderstorms breaking out. San Saba, Lampasas, out toward Copperas Cove, Colleen, all could be getting some rain while the Austin area is hot and dry. But Future Track has actually made a little bit of a southward jog in those rain showers working through your Thursday evening. Maybe one or two isolated ones making it into the Austin Metro by around nine o'clock on Thursday. Then that dissipates and we wait for the actual cold front to arrive. Here's the progress of that on a little bit of a wider scale for you. Future Track now targeting between about four and six o'clock for the front to make it through Austin. It makes it toward Waco around two o'clock in the afternoon. Watch what happens. Temperature right around 94 degrees at 3.30 in the afternoon on Friday. Dropping down to 80 with some rain cooled air as the cold front cruises through Friday evening. Now if you've got Friday night football plans, you might want to have the poncho handy and also make sure you've got a radar app because there possibly could be some lingering showers. As the cold front pushes south, we may see a little bit of rain here and there all the way into your Saturday as well, which could mean temperatures unseasonably cool. All right, how much rain? Not a lot through Thursday night. Only a tenth of an inch expected for Austin, a little bit more as you head toward the north. But then as we make our way through Friday and into Friday night, we might get a little bit more than a half an inch, maybe close to three quarters of an inch in some spots. And then heading into Saturday midday, bam, some areas pushing above one inch of rain. Wouldn't that be nice? Again, this is just one computer model. I look at a whole bunch of them, but at least signs are looking more and more likely for rain, maybe even heavy. Possibly we might have to keep an eye out for flooding rain. There's your seven day forecast, two days of heat, then Saturday and Sunday relief. I got your high on Saturday at just 80 degrees. Some spots in the hill country could be in the 70s. We stay in the 80s on Sunday, a little bit warmer. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that temperature, 89 to 90, easy to take. So buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Thanks as always for checking out Chicks Chats. See you again tomorrow night.